Now you might have read that title and think, duh, but let me elaborate first. I recently went to the track in my 2018 Daytona Charger 392, but before I went, I swapped out my PowerStop Daily Driver brake pads, which we did a video about over there, um, for some track day brake pads from the same company. And I've been dailying them since, which has been about a couple of months. I'd be lying if that wasn't at least somewhat out of laziness, but it was mostly so that I could show you guys what it's like to daily drive track pads. On the track, these pads are fantastic, especially in a giant car like this one that weighs a lot, where regular brake pads would overheat, including the ones that it comes with. But for daily driving, they are not as good. And of course, this isn't the fault of the brake pads, and most people probably already know not to use track day pads on the street. And in fact, a lot of you probably already know why you don't drive track pads on the street. Um, the big three I already knew about is the brake dust is pretty bad. It's much worse than regular pads. Two, they're really not good when cold. And three, they make hella noise. But unless you've actually daily driven them, you probably don't know to the extent of how bad those problems can be. Let's take the first point about the brake dust. You can, you can see this. It looks, uh, it looks terrible. And this has been only a month or so of driving. These calipers were bright red from the factory and they're basically black. And it's not just the calipers and the wheels. I mean, this whole car is just brake dust. All of that is just dust. Now, the brakes that came with this car dusted a lot, but the PowerStop daily drivers almost didn't dust at all. And these take it to a whole nother level. These dust like they're designed to dust. I've been looking forward to shooting this video mostly so that I could just finally clean my car and get rid of all this brake dust. Two, they are not good when cold. And I don't mean that these don't stop as well as the daily brake pads. I mean they almost don't stop at all when cold. For example, when I leave for work in the morning, I have to be almost all the way down on the brake pedal just to stop at the end of the driveway. And my drive to work is about 10 minutes both ways. And by the time I get to the office, they just barely start being useful again. So it's not just that they're bad, but they're also dangerous. If the traffic on the highway stops suddenly, you might not have the brakes to stop in time because your track day pads are cold. So definitely please do not use them on the highway. And three, the noise. The brakes that came with this car squeaked a lot and I was extremely happy getting the PowerStop daily brake pads that basically did away with that entirely. Um, these pads though, just take a listen. It's pretty bad. Now, I want all of this to serve as less of a rant and more of a, a PSA. These aren't really complaints about the product, but more like consequences you get if you misuse the product. On the track, when they're hot, these pads are incredible. My car records peak Gs when braking, and my highest score has been around one G, which, which makes sense. That's about what a new BMW M3 should get. And these are some pretty aggressive six piston Brembos. But with the track pads, after being hot, I got all the way up to 1.33 Gs, which is the same as a Veyron, according to this article from Brembo about braking forces in F1 races. And my Charger weighs 400 more pounds than a Veyron. But yeah, that's it. If you like this video, hit like. Please subscribe to our channel. Subscribing helps us grow so much and it truly does mean a lot to us. And we'll see you in the next video.